Hello, I'm Lucy Neville Rolf, a government minister in the business and in the culture department. And one of my ministerial responsibilities in the business department is for intellectual property, called IP. That is broadly responsibility for patents, trademarks, designs and copyright. And the various types of IP are protected by laws and international conventions so that those who invent things can gain the benefit from having done so. The UK government body which looks after IP is called the Intellectual Property Office, or IPO for short, and they report to me. Now, as life becomes more technical and more complex, IP becomes ever more important in relation to the value of total production. And this is even more true for the UK where our universities and knowledge base is so strong, stronger than in most other countries. So IP is becoming more important over time. In recent years, we've taken steps to modernise our national IP system. And I'm glad to say the evidence is that it is now very well regarded internationally. The government fully recognises the importance I of IP, as is shown by the 2015 Conservative Manifesto commitments. First, to make the UK the best place in Europe to innovate, patent new ideas, and set up and expand a business. And second, generally, to protect IP. We also want to support our growing creative industries, which depend so much on copyright. Among the challenges we face on IP are threats. Threats from theft, piracy and counterfeits, especially from overseas. Because IP knows no borders. So international engagement is vital. Strengthening overseas protection would also increase the confidence of our exporters. The IPO seeks to influence other governments and supports businesses in markets overseas. We have a system of IP attaches, experts in places like Beijing and Brazil, and we press for progress on global treaties to create a more harmonised international system, making it easier to do business and easier to export. Within Europe, delivering a digital single market in the European Union is a crucial objective. Trade agreements also need to treat IP appropriately in the online world. And our businesses need to know how this will work for them. The government wants the UK to be part of a European patent system that supports growth and fosters innovation. And we continue to make preparations for a new single unitary patent and for a unified patent court with a key division here in London to support the UK's and Europe's innovative companies. The aim is to provide uniform protection for UK business throughout the European Union. We also try to make it easy to benefit from IP here at home. It's vital that businesses recognise the value of their IP. And we seek to inspire young people and equip them to follow a careers in IP and to create businesses, from medicines to pop music, based on their ideas and their creativity. So in summary, we need to deliver an IP environment where consumers are protected and legitimate businesses and legitimate content can thrive. The IPO has published its new strategy. That sets out how it will play its part in achieving these aims, especially through greater collaboration across government, with industry and with consumer groups. We've already achieved much. I value the relationships we've forged and I'm excited, very excited, by the prospect of what more we can do together.